What if I told you that there is a relatively unknown add-on out there that is as big of a game changer as, let's say, DBM or even Weekoras? I've been using this add-on for a few years now, on and off, and I've gotta say, it's helped me greatly improve in not only my rotation and DPS, but surprisingly my situational awareness and avoiding mechanics. I'm actually kind of amazed that not as many people know about this add-on. So in this video, I'm going to shed some light on this really useful add-on, explain what it is, why it's good, and why you should use it. But before we begin, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so that you guys are always informed when I drop new content. It's a great way to be involved and join the community, plus it just helps me out. Alright, so enough of that, let's get into the video. So what is this add-on? Let's look at the description of it on the add-ons page over on CurseForge. Hero Rotation is a World of Warcraft add-on to provide the player useful and precise information to execute the best possible DPS rotation in every PvE situation at max level. So basically, this is a rotation add-on that's going to tell you exactly what you guys should be pressing in nearly every PvE situation. A little later, I will demonstrate this add-on and show you guys why it's really useful. I'll also show you guys how to download it, as well as give you some reasons why this add-on might not be good for you. Because, spoiler alert, it doesn't work for every spec. So as I stated, this is a rotation add-on. It's going to show up in the middle of your screen, and it will display an icon for one of your abilities when you're targeting something to attack. Once you enter combat and you push the button for whatever ability is shown, it's going to change to another one. What it's doing is it's telling you what abilities to press. In theory, if you were to follow this to a T, you'd be basically doing your full rotation in a optimized fashion. One really cool thing about this add-on is that it knows when you're fighting one mob versus multiple targets. For example, as a Fury Warrior, when you're fighting just one target, you really don't need to be using Whirlwind unless you don't have anything else to push. And when you're in AoE, you should be using it every four abilities to basically let your other abilities cleave. So when you're attacking one target and some other adds show up, the add-on's gonna update and it's gonna tell you to start using Whirlwind to basically switch over to your AoE rotation. And this all happens dynamically, you don't have to do anything. So the way this add-on works is it's basically using simulation craft and action lists, the very same thing that the websites like Raidbot uses to analyze your gear and determine if a upgrade is right for you. They all use the same API, so as long as your spec with this rotation is updated correctly, in theory, you're probably going to be doing the most optimized rotation possible. So who is this add-on for? Well, I'd say everyone, but I will say new players or players learning a new spec are the ones that will probably benefit from this add-on the most. I like to use this add-on when I'm trying out a new spec, because playing a new spec or class can be daunting, especially in the beginning when you have no idea how to play said spec. But this add-on removes the difficulty of that, or at the very least, lets you just jump right into playing. I like to use this add-on to help me grasp the rotation, and then once I'm comfortable, I usually like to turn it off. However, I will say that I have found a new use for this add-on, and it's the main reason why I still use it today. It's for the situational awareness aspect. Let me explain. So when you're playing high-end content like in the raids or mythic plus, you're always having to dodge mechanics, whether that be fire on the ground, or you need to run something out of the group. Either way, being able to keep your eyes on your character's feet at all times will make you more reactive and responsive when dealing with said mechanics. This is why I like to use this add-on, because when I'm playing, I can stare at my character's feet, and just out of my peripheral, I can actually see the icons popping up right next to my character, and I don't even have to look at it. I can just push the buttons and keep looking at my character's feet, and not have to worry about looking down at my hotbar. And this is kind of a similar thing when you look at the weak auras for different specs. You have all the abilities kind of popping up in the center of your screen, that's to save you from looking all the way down at the bottom of your screen on your hotbar. And the reason why I like this add-on so much is because when you look at the weak auras that display all that stuff, there's a ton of information all in the center of your screen. And me personally, I like to have my screen be clutter-free. I don't like having a lot of stuff on it. So that's why I like this add-on because it's literally like one or two abilities that show up. And while this add-on is really cool and it's just really awesome to use, there are some cons to using this add-on. So of course we're gonna talk about them because there are some pretty big ones. So the first one we need to talk about is that sometimes the add-on will not be able to tell you when to use certain cooldowns. For example, on my Fury Warrior, it doesn't tell me when to use Spear Bastion, which is kind of huge, right? 
And that's kind of why I think this add-on is a really good tool for new players to basically kind of get the ropes of like the general rotation and play style. Because when you're new, you're not expected to have an optimal play style or do all the main max stuff. You just want to learn the rotation and get an understanding and feel of how to play. And for all that stuff, the add-on does a really good job. But if you want to use the add-on to play optimally, then yeah, you're going to need to have a understanding of how to play your spec. Because the add-on has some quirks and, you know, it's not perfect. So that's just kind of one of those things where you just need to have that in mind when you actually use it. There is another thing that you guys need to consider when you use this add-on, and that's the fact that it's actually broken for some specs. On the description of the add-ons page, there's a GitHub page that you guys can click on, and when you scroll down, there's going to be a section for all the specs listed in the game, and it's going to tell you there if the add-on is working for that spec or not. For example, any spec that has good or okay next to it, I would say the add-on is going to work really well. However, anything listed as whip or KO, the add-on's not going to work at all. As of this video, it looks like there's still quite a few specs that are not working yet. For example, Arcane Mage, Fire Mage, and Elemental Shaman. And the other thing about this add-on is that I wouldn't recommend using it if you're a healer or tank. I've found that while tanking, it's really just going to try to have you do the most damage possible, and it's not going to tell you when you guys should be using your defensives. And healing is kind of hard to predict as it's more of a reactionary kind of playstyle. So because of that, for those two uh, playstyles, I wouldn't recommend using the add-on. This one is definitely more catered towards DPS players. So one really interesting thing about this add-on is that they've got a whole team working on it, and none of these guys are getting paid for this. So I would say if you guys are going to be using this add-on and you get something out of it, and you've got a few dollars to spare, Maybe consider throwing some to a couple of the developers. I'm not being promoted or paid to say any of this, I just think this add-on is really awesome and I really like what this team's doing, and I think having them incentivized to continue working and developing the tools is a really good thing. Installing this add-on can be a little tricky. In order to make it work, you need to actually download three separate add-ons. So the first one is called Hero Rotation, the second is Hero DBC, and the third is Hero Lib. You need all three of these installed for the add-on to work properly. And one last thing to go over before we wrap up this video is I would suggest you go to the options menu of this add-on and tweak with these settings there. There's going to be things that you can customize. For example, you can choose to incorporate interrupting into your rotation or not, something that I'd probably recommend doing if you're going to be doing Mythic Plus. But either way, I just wanted to make a video on this add-on because I think it'll help out a lot of people. Do I think that this add-on is 100% perfect? No, I don't think that, but I do think it's a solid enough add-on to work really well for most people. And with that, we're gonna wrap up this video. But before I go, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Is there an add-on out there that you guys think isn't very well known, but you use it and you think it's incredibly useful? Let me know in the comments for not only me to check out, but also the other viewers as well. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and with that, I will see you guys later.